You gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley, poor son senior himself. You're right, I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Harold, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the final. Who won? I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. Got a portrait of Hierarch Hemelford I'm willing to part with. Want it? Yes! Those halfling painters. This one of theirs? Uh, mm -hmm. Wonderful! I put this up at the Rosemary in time. It'll make those temple guard inspections so much easier. Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? One you promised to show your butterfly collection to. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection? You of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average run-of-the-mill girl. But give her a smile, notice her shoes, let her chat about them a bit, and she'd turn into a wellspring of passion. See you, Dandelion. <laughs>